Again, welcome to the Encore 101 webinar. Um, so let's begin by telling you a bit about the Encore team. You will find uh, the Encore Regional Director for your area here, as well as our Coordinator and our Director of Fellow Engagement. Feel free to reach out to your Regional Director for any follow-up questions you may have after the webinar. You will also find our contact information on our website as well. So my name is Bethany Orozco. I'm the Program and Recruitment Director for the Greater Los Angeles Area. I've spent my career in education because I was once inspired to do my part to promote a love of math in students. My draw to education goes back to my time in college. As a student at the University of Minnesota, I volunteered as a tutor in the Minneapolis Public Schools, and I worked with young elementary school students after school on math, and I could not believe how far behind my students were. I decided I wanted to do something about it and join Teach for America, which is a national core of teachers. Um, I taught high school math and science at a school in the Los Angeles area and completed a secondary math credential at Loyola Marymount University. I went on to do recruiting um, for teachers at a large network of schools in Southern California where I also realized that there was a huge shortage of qualified math and science teachers. We began the school year with over 15 long-term subs in our math and science classrooms. And I joined Encore because I know that we must do something other organizations and people are not doing. And that's to tap into talent that's not traditionally tapped into for public education which is STEM industry professionals or all of you on the line. So I would love to know a bit about who is in the audience. If you could type into the question and comment box, um, which STEM profession do you identify with? Um, just wanna get a, get a feel of who's on the line. So go ahead and take 30 seconds to um, tell me about your background. All right, I see some responses are coming in. We have a chemist on the line, uh, several engineers, um, some uh, professor, wonderful. And uh, not, we have electrical engineering, manufacturing, Technology, great. Well, thank you to all of you for being here today. Um, I'm excited to see so many people on our webinar and um, I'm excited to tell you more about Encore. So let's begin with why we are all here um, on the webinar today and why Encore exists. So I'd love to tell you a personal story. Um, as a math intervention teacher at a middle school in Southern California, um, I was prepared to work with the students who had fallen behind in math and needed some extra attention. However, after my first few days with a group of sixth to eighth graders, I was still shocked to find that my lowest performers were at a second grade math level, while my highest performers were at about a fifth grade math level. So one day we passed around a ball playing a multiplication game and my students could not even count by sixes. These students had somehow made it through kindergarten through fifth grade or even more and could barely multiply. Their teachers and the system had failed them and they came to my class because they were embarrassed and frustrated and they were not doing well in math. So to me, the answer is simple. Um, we're here because of students. Um, Encore addresses the conditions severely limiting low-income, under-resourced, and minority students. And we believe that all students should have access to a great STEM education, teacher, and opportunities. And unfortunately, this is not currently true. STEM education in the U.S. is lacking, especially for minority and low-income students. 
And the most recent results from the California Assessment of Student Performance and Progress, also known as Smarter Balanced Assessment, only 37% of students in California met or exceeded the math standards. And it's worse when we look at the data by ethnicity. The racial achievement gap is staggering. While 53% of white students met or exceeded the math standards in 2016, only 24% of Latino students and only 18% of black students met or exceeded them. The California STEM Learning Network reported that there is a, a leaky STEM pipeline in California. Of almost 500,000 ninth graders enrolled in high school in California, only 70% go on to graduate high school, 53% are college ready, 21% major in STEM, and by the end of the pipeline, only 21,000 earn a STEM bachelor's degree. So corporations are not able to fill their STEM positions, let alone find diverse candidates. And in order for California and the US to be competitive in today's global market, STEM education needs to improve for all of our students. So if it isn't bad enough, there's also a crisis level teacher shortage in California. The Learning Policy Institute released a report in September of this year that concluded the U.S. is experiencing the worst shortage of teachers since 1990, with school districts nationwide um, needing to hire up to 300,000 new teachers annually through the 2017 to 18 school year. Um, also, between 2003 and 2012, enrollment in teacher preparation programs has declined 74%. And there were over 21,000 teaching vacancies at the beginning of the 2015 to 16 school year in California. California alone needs 33,000 new math and science teachers over the next 10 years. And it comes down to this. There's a teacher shortage in California. It's worse for math, science, engineering, and technology subjects. And it is even worse for high need, low income schools the schools that Encore specifically works with. So this is where you come in. Um, all of you on the webinars this evening, um, you just put into the question box your industry that you identify with. You have STEM expertise, and you possibly want to get involved in public education in high need schools. You can really make a difference with Encore. Students need to learn from experts in the field who can answer the question of relevance. They need role models who have real industry experience that can connect schoolwork with the real world and real careers. So I'm actually not going to play this video this evening, but I encourage you to take a look at it, um, perhaps once you're off the webinar or um, at a different point in time. Um, you will hear from Encore fellows themselves, and you can also check out some videos on our website. So a little background on Encore. Um, we were founded in 2007 as a public benefit corporation, and we're supported by the very corporations that are affected by this leaky STEM pipeline. Companies like Boeing, Qualcomm, and American Honda and philanthropic organizations like the WM Keck Foundation. The Encore Fellowship is an innovative and long-term solution to these enduring STEM achievement and literacy gaps that disproportionately limit low-income, under-resourced, and minority student opportunities. And we believe that STEM industry leaders bring technical skills, leadership, and real-world expertise to public schools to deliver authentic, and relevant STEM education to students that need it most. So Encore is tapping into a resource that no one else is tapping into to engage our highest need students in science and math. And there are several reasons why Encore STEM fellows have been successful as educators. Um, that's because STEM professionals know their content. As a professional chemist or engineer, you have lived and breathed that craft every day. Unfortunately, many teachers will go into teaching a subject without even an undergraduate degree in it. We also know that as a STEM professional, you are passionate about your area of expertise, and you know why it is relevant. You can relate the real-world experience for students. 
this is really important because students often find that their learning experience is abstract and they don't know when they're going to be using it. But when STEM professionals relate it to a real career, students become inspired and they are more likely to stay engaged and stay in school. In addition, you can serve as a role model for the students that you will work with. Some students from under-resourced areas may have never met an engineer or someone with an advanced degree. They might feel that it's really out of reach for them or even be unaware of the pathway towards this type of career. And a lot of times STEM professionals have access to opportunities that students do not have. They can say to a student, you know, in my old job, I did X. And in fact, we can go visit the lab or the manufacturing floor. So this gives students insight into a world they might have never known. I was a teacher as my first career. And as a result, I did not have quite the access or real world knowledge of the subject that I taught. And we really believe bringing STEM professionals into the classroom will begin to solve these problems. Um, so I'm going to pause for just a moment. I want to um, remind you that if you do have questions throughout this um, presentation, go ahead and type them into the question or comment box. And I can pause either throughout the presentation or towards the end to answer any questions that you have. So could the Encore Fellowship be the right program for you to explore public education? Let's get into some of the details of our fellowship. When you become an Encore Fellow, you will explore your role in public education. We've laid out a clear pathway that allows you to get in front of students immediately so that you can try your hand at tutoring or guest teaching and explore if teaching is a career pathway you are interested in. From there, our fellows choose one of three tracks. Two are credentialing tracks for becoming a teacher. The other is our STEM expert tutoring track for those fellows interested in staying involved, but at a lower commitment level. Encore supports two routes for credentialing, the single subject credential. Um, so subjects are math and science, math, chemistry, biology, physics. We also support the career and technical education credential, also known as CTE. And those subjects are things like engineering, information technology, manufacturing, transportation, et cetera. We're able to really individualize our support for our fellows so that we can determine the best pathway and timeline for you. So if you join Encore in January, you could potentially be teaching as early as fall 2017 or you could take a slower route and begin teaching in fall 2018 or 2019. Your pace will actually depend on you and the type of teaching that you're interested in. So I want to give you three examples of individualized pathways through the Encore Fellowship. Um, so for example, Steve, one of our Orange County Fellows, interviewed last fall. He completed pre-service guest teaching from January through May then earned a CTE credential in engineering um, online this past summer. And he actually had multiple job offers as a CTE high school engineering teacher this fall and began teaching in mid-August. Uh, La Tierra, who is a Los Angeles fellow, interviewed in the spring. She tutored biology in the fall semester, applied to a single subject credentialing program in the winter, guest taught biology in the spring semester and began her credentialing program in the summer. She was hired in the fall as a full-time paid intern teacher and is now in her second year teaching. And lastly, Charlotte, who's a Los Angeles fellow, interviewed last spring and is a STEM ex tutor this fall and will continue to tutor throughout the year. So that just gives you um, some examples of the different pathways through the Encore Fellowship. But again, it is an individualized timeline and pathway, and that is part of the support that we offer. So we offer a lot of different supports, um, professional development and access to education in California. Um, so first of all, we want our fellows to explore their role in public education by getting in front of students right away. So you will volunteer in what we call pre-service, tutoring or guest teaching. As a tutor, you will work with students one-on-one -on -one or in small groups on math, science, engineering, or technology. 
This can happen before school, at lunch, after school, and sometimes on the weekend. As a guest teacher, you will observe, shadow, and eventually teach your own lessons with an experienced host teacher as your mentor. Our host teachers are carefully selected and have three or more years of teaching experience under their belt. Um, one thing to know is that pre-service placements often can become potential future employment opportunities um, because our fellows network with their host school and administrators, and um, those people are often very impressed with their Encore fellow and want to consider them for future job opportunities. Along with your experience tutoring or guest teaching in schools, you will work with an experienced mentor teacher and be supported all along the way by your Encore program director. As a former math and science teacher, I will share my experiences with you not only as a teacher, but with credentialing and navigating the world of education. Also, Encore has been able to offer scholarship opportunities for fellows who pursue teaching credentials, as well as professional development programs, um, such as Project Lead the Way and Blinks Learning. And in addition, we have close relationships with partner schools and districts in all of our regions, all of whom are chomping at the bit to hire Encore Fellows. Our partners have seen Encore Fellows in action as guest teachers and full-time teachers in their schools, and they recognize the unique leadership and skills that our fellows bring to a school site and classroom. I'm gonna take a quick pause because I see some questions that are popping up. Um, so feel free to write in any questions that you have into the question box and I'm gonna take a look and try to answer some of these questions. Okay, so here's a question. Is there a time limit to remain a STEMX tutor? Um, so we ask as a STEM expert tutor that you commit to two years of tutoring through the Encore program. Um, those, for those two years, you are doing about two to five hours per week um, during the school year. So that means basically September through May. Um, also, it's important to know that um, our STEM expert tutoring goes on a semester basis. So if you were to start with Encore in January, we would place you as a STEM expert tutor at a school site um, that's convenient for you. You would commit to that specific school site for at least a semester. And then at the end of the, that school year, we can reevaluate and reassess and, and see if you want to stick with that school site for the next year or to switch to one of our different partner schools. Um, I also see, do you have to transfer into a credential track within two years, or can you remain a tutor? Um, great question. Thank you, David, who asked that. Um, so you do not have to transfer into a credential track within two years. Um, that's just an example of what you could do. Um, so you can remain a STEM expert tutor for those two years. You can actually, you know, remain a STEM expert tutor with Encore, let's say, for five years and then decide to become a teacher. Um, or you could be a STEM expert tutor with us for two years and never decide to become a teacher. Um, so ultimately, you can decide whether you go the STEM expert tutor track or the credential track or sort of hop in between. I'm going to quickly unmute you, David. Oh, actually, David, I see that you do not have audio. So if you do have any follow-up questions, go ahead and type them into the question box. And thank you for your questions. All right, so let's move on. Um, again, go ahead and type questions as I am presenting as well. So Encore also provides credentialing resources and research for those fellows who decide to pursue teaching as a career. We have personal relationships with credentialing institutions and can provide discounts to select programs as well. So you'll see on the right side, the credential areas supported by Encore, both the single subject as well as the um, career and technical education, the CTE subject areas. Encore offers professional development through our three in-person events each year. Um, those are our Summer Residential Institute and our Fall and Spring Institutes. Our professional learning communities that meet throughout the year 
our online webinars, and our print resources, such as our tutoring and guest teaching handbook. Our in-person sessions are practical, interactive work sessions to build teaching skills, reinforcing topics such as classroom management, adolescent psychology, behavior and instructional strategies, as well as project-based learning, common core, and next generation science standards, just to name a few. On top of all this, you will have a cohort of peers to share the experience. Encore fellows share experiences as STEM professional and career changing teacher with others who are transitioning into teaching. We host several social gatherings throughout the year and have online communication um, tools to keep in touch with others through Encore as well. Encore partners with schools and districts in the six regions that we serve. Our partners are carefully vetted through a selection and rating process so that our fellows can expect a welcoming and supportive environment. It's impossible to provide all the schools we work with on one slide, but here are just a few examples. And you can trust that we have partners spread geographically as well as different grade levels to work with from 6th to 12th grade and various subjects. Regional directors can give you a more complete list if you are invited to one of our interview days. So if accepted into our program, our expectation is that you first attend an orientation in January or June, then serve as a pre-service tutor or guest teacher. And I like to point out that your pre-service can be completed while working full time by volunteering before or after school or on the weekend. We want you to attend our three in-person professional development events and take advantage of our online webinars and other opportunities. We understand that not everyone that begins our program will decide to become a full-time teacher, and this is what Encore is for, public service and discovery of your role in public education. So if you decide to become a STEMX tutor, we wish for you to volunteer for an additional year. And if you decide to transition to teaching, we wish for you to teach for three years in a high needs school. So um, you might be wondering about when you could start the Encore program. Um, as I previously mentioned, um, if you are accepted as an Encore Fellow, um, you would be able to start in January if you're accepted in the fall. So you can start participating in the Encore community events and professional development opportunities right away. And then you can opt for a mid-year start in January. Um, fellows that are accepted in the spring, so January through May, um, will start volunteering at the beginning of the next school year in August. Um, and your kickoff event would be our Summer Residential Institute. In order to qualify to join Encore um, or to apply to our program, um, you do need to live in an area that we serve. Um, we have six service regions in California, including the San Francisco Bay Area, Sacramento, Stockton, Los Angeles area, Orange County, and San Diego County. And you also need to possess at least three years of full-time STEM industry experience, and we do count research experience and internships as well. Um, you must be eligible to work in the United States and hold an undergraduate degree with a GPA of 2.5 or higher. These are what we call our baseline eligibility requirements. If you meet those, you will fill out an online application with background information and respond to two short answer questions. And it's also important to note that previous coursework or experience in education is not expected or necessary. Um, we are expecting people coming into our program that have never um, had any experience as a teacher or a tutor. And that's what Encore is really all about, um, letting you experience that in public education. So you may have questions about many other things and providing information, advising, and guidance to our accepted fellows is actually part of our fellowship. So I'm happy to answer any additional questions you have now, but know that if you become an Encore Fellow, we will talk to you about all sorts of things from um, volunteer placements to your own timeline and pathway into teaching 
um, scholarships and grant money for credentialing, um, as well as selecting a credential program and connecting you with hiring schools as well. Um, so there's much more information that we provide as part of our fellowship. So the next step for you would be to complete our online application, and this includes background information, educational and work history, and two short answer responses. We will get back to you within five business days, and then if you seem like a good fit for the Encore Fellowship, we would invite you to an in-person interview. We host interview days in all of our regions monthly, so although our mid-year application deadline is November 21st, um, which is next week on Monday, we encourage you to apply and interview early. If you have additional questions about our organization and the fellowship, um, you can check out our website, including our frequently asked questions, and also be in touch with your regional program director. And also, again, you will receive a copy of the recording of this webinar by email later today. Um, so, before I answer the remaining questions, um, I want to just go back to my group of 6th to 8th graders. Um, one student in particular will always stay with me. Jasmine was a 6th grader who came into my class having lost all her confidence and interest in math. She was a sweet and quiet girl but struggled through the most basic assignments and lessons, and I knew that to get through to her, I would need to build her confidence back up. So slowly through the weeks, I gave her problems that I knew she could handle. Um, we played games in class and created a classroom culture that was comfortable, warm, and collaborative. And she began to gain confidence. Um, I made sure that she experienced some small successes, and then I would give her something that was a bit more difficult. So toward the end of the semester, I received an email one morning from her dad. And when he went into the kitchen that morning to prepare breakfast, Jasmine was already up completing her math homework. She told him that she wanted to be ready for Ms. Gildner's math class. And I could not have been more proud. Um, so this is just one of the stories of the students in my classes or you know, my experience. And imagine the influence that you could have on just one student's life. Um, so I encourage you to consider taking the next step to get involved in our fellowship for the camaraderie, the exploration into education, and to make a difference with the students that you would work with. So I'll go ahead and leave this slide up um, while I answer any remaining questions. You can go ahead and type them into the question box. 